coming up on this episode with Kathleen McGivern. Hello and welcome back. I am Kathleen McGivern and today I'm going to be talking about how to increase and boost your creativity as an artist. Let's get inspired. about the importance of creativity. So creativity is what drives us to come up with novel ideas, solutions to challenging problems, and is all about that expression within ourselves. So coming up with novel ideas that challenge the status quo and not have not existed before, right? We're coming up with things out of our imaginations. Um, creative solutions to huge problems, uh, creating masterpiece artworks, that will outlive ourselves, whatever it is. We're going to drive innovation through being creative, whether it's for our own professional selves or for our own personal development. So we're gonna be diving in on how to increase and boost your creativity in this episode. My first idea is to use different mediums I only ever used to uh, think that I can only do art and clay. I'm only a ceramic artist. I'm a pure ceramicist. That is it. There's no other option ever. Then I started painting some nice sculptures in with some acrylic paints. Um, after I started getting over that, then I started doing more watercolor paintings that led into more acrylic paintings, and now I'm also investigating oil painting. Um, and so now I realize, hey, maybe that is actually helping me as an artist. And I realize that I'm actually growing a lot more by trying and using different mediums in my practice. So here's the thing. Uh, what I started doing was saying, you know what? I'm going to create my, my artworks in a sculpture form, but also I'm going to paint it as well because they're going to exist completely different one as a ceramic sculpture and two as a painting. Yeah, so I, my new series I'm exploring goes out into the world. I find an adventure and then I create art based on that experience and I film it also so you can come with me on that investigation. And then when I, I create art of it in both three dimensional form as a <laughs> ceramic sculpture and then also as a painting. I know, right? So I'm understanding and, and experimenting with uh, seeing my, my, my creatures, my um, parts of my creativity, my imagination, my ideas existing in multiple mediums. And I think that is a really great way. So I have learned so much by getting over that. I only do art and ceramics. Um, part of me and I am now feeling like I am growing and developing so much more as an artist. So I recommend not doing what I did for so many years because I think I held myself back, but I think that you should try different art mediums. It's super, super important. All right, number two is to, uh, to increase and boost your creativity as an artist. Make sure you go on walks and walk or spend time in nature. There is no better way, in my opinion, to really generate ideas and get that creative flow going than by going on a walk. You'll just be walking, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm on a walk. Doesn't matter where you're walking, you walk around your block, that's totally fine, for real. I get the same, same uh, energy, idea, making as I do if I'm going to a park. So go on a walk, doesn't matter where, and as you're walking, all of a sudden, you will, don't go on your phone and play Pokemon Go. Okay, that's not thinking of ideas. Um, I do that also. So, <laughs> um, but if you're going uh, on a walk for the purpose of generating ideas, you're not listening to music, you're not listening to your podcast, you're not listening to your audiobook, you're just walking. That means that your brain needs to fill in that space that is not being drained by the device. So you're walking, you're walking, and now your ideas are coming. Boom! There you have it. You grab those ideas. Now, if you need to capture those ideas, you can A, do it on a post-it note, B, do it 
do it on a little ouch, stab myself. Um, pocket sketchbook, like travel sketchbook, um, pocket journal, um, notebook, or you can capture it on uh, Google Docs, Evernote, OneNote, Google Keep, whatever. Um, and then that's the only time you get to use that. Um, but I find that when you're walking or if you're walking through nature, you're spending time outside in nature, whether it's gardening, picking weeds, honestly, pulling weeds is a great way to get lots of ideas because it's so, like, you don't have to think about nothing. It requires no <laughs> mental effort to pull weeds. It's just the same repetitive thing and it just makes you just stay dreaming and suddenly you got lots of ideas. So spend time, go on a walk and go to nature. I believe that Einstein was walking, walked every day. There's a lot of people who are um, in history who would walk every day to generate ideas. And I think that's the best strategy. I also feel good, it's good for your health. Um, I try to do like 3K a day, because my, I live rural, so my block is large. And so, go on a walk, get your ideas, it's so much better. All right, number three. Create a challenge for yourself. So for me, for my example, was that I decided to come up a challenge for myself that I'm going to do uh, artworks based on adventures I go on for my current body of art. So I go on an adventure, out in nature, and then I create an artwork inspired by that experience, and I, I try to do it in two different mediums. So that's my challenge to myself. I think that it's a great thing for you to challenge yourself in different ways. So you can be like, I challenge myself to make art that is all introspective. I challenge myself to make art that is all themed around my heritage and culture. I challenge myself to <clears throat> create art that reflects my identity. I challenge myself to create art that is all themed around doomsday. I challenge myself from on to create art all themed on the different UFO, spacecraft, sightings, and retrievals. <laughs> I'm stuck on that. <laughs> that have existed and have happened. Um, and I will design them in whatever. Anyways, um, <clears throat> various mediums. I challenge myself to create art all themed around my future uh, or whatever or my future death. I don't know. Whatever you want it to do. <laughs> However you want to go about it. Um, think of different themes or challenges for yourself. Now if you want some solid challenges not like those ones that I just came up with on the spot, you want some well thought out introspective challenges to challenge yourself, grab my free guide. You can scan with your device right now. Scan that QR code on this screen or grab the link in the description below the video to grab my free guide that's going to give you like 30 different artist challenges to do plus sketchbook prompts that are for professional level artists. They're not like, these are not kid things. These are like solid, legit ones that are going to ask you to dive deep within yourself. Um, I think that's going to really help you level up and increase and boost your creativity as an artist. Um, it's going to also give you structure and a focus, not a rigid structure like every, we're gonna do every um, letter of the alphabet themed with animals. Not like that at all, but like broad enough that you can put in your own ideas, but narrow enough and structured that is gonna help you to assemble a routine and a path to follow, but also that you can make it your own. It's not something that's very like specific, like the UFO thing. That was a joke. But if you want to do that, sure, go ahead. All right. So the next one is to um, pick a theme and explore deeply. So once you are done, you have a challenge idea, or you. Um, like, I know what, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna do explore a theme. Explore a theme deeply, okay? So that means you're gonna research it 
all the way through, spend time reading uh, every book. You should look at lots of YouTube videos, see, check out footage, um, buy a bunch of books and research through them. Check out all the images available on Wikimedia, in books, um, whatever it is. Just deep dive and research that topic all the way through. And then you're going to create a series of sketchbook artworks through it. You're going to create, turn those into artworks after and just really dive deep and create a solid body of work diving deep on that subject. You're going to become an expert. You're going to become a master. You're going to level up your skills and you're going to have boosted your creativity. All right. I want to know how have you boosted your creativity before as an artist? Share out your ideas below in the comments right now so we can all learn from each other. I'm so excited to see what you say and I will personally reply. I so very much appreciate it. All right, my next idea for really increasing or boosting your creativity is to explore an art, a, a concept or theme or subject matter in multiple mediums. So for instance, maybe you're drawing, for example, you're exploring birds. You go, you go out into the wild, you, or nature, <laughs> you photograph and document uh, lots of varieties of different birds in your area. Then you can explore uh, turning them into art. Maybe it's sketchbook drawings, or you could do watercolor paintings. Uh, maybe you do watercolor paintings and acrylic paintings, or acrylic paintings and oil pa um, paintings. Maybe you explore oil pastel and color pencil. Maybe you explore ceramics and um, paper mache. Whatever it is, whatever combo it is, you're exploring that single subject matter in a variety of different mediums is really going to help you better understand that subject, but also going to help you grow exponentially as an artist. And I think that's a great way to really increase and boost your creativity, but also help you master your different skills and techniques as an artist and all those different ways of, of exploring different mediums is going to help you uh, inform your practice in unexpected ways. I think that is so fabulous. So make sure you do it. All right, next is to go out to art show openings. Yes, so not only just visiting galleries and museums, but try to fit in going to some art show openings, my friend, because you get to visit and meet the artist and other artists there. I always end up talking with people. I'm super introvert, super. I get super nervous going to these things. But I always end up talking to somebody and making friends with them or talking to various people. People just love to chat at our openings. And so you'll meet a bunch of different people. You'll get to know them. You'll get really, really energized. You'll make new connections. And I think that's a great way to do it. Plus you're gonna see some cool new art that's gonna help you be like, wow! And then you just feed off all those vibes. You see some new art, you get super inspired. Now you're ready to go back to your studio and enter that creative flow. It's so good. If you've never entered our opening, the actual opening of the show, the opening reception, make sure you find our show in your area. Go to a gallery, see what galleries around are around your area, see what shows are coming up next, and then they'll say when the opening reception is, uh, date and time, and then go to it. May I try to go to like five? That'd be so so awesome. Oh yeah, you will really supercharge your creativity that way. All right, finally, throw out subject matter that you are very comfortable with and do something that makes you totally, totally uncomfortable with. Yeah, do something that you don't like doing. I, if you don't like making, uh, making art about flowers or landscapes or nature, then go do that and just see what happens and then apply your style to it. Like if you're really loving surrealism, or like making super dark, creepy things. Well, apply that to some flower art and see what happens. And um, even you can apply this concept to working with mediums you don't particularly enjoy working with, just to help you uh, uh, rethink your own style, experiment, take risks, and then uh, challenge yourself to do things that make you uncomfortable. It's gonna help you learn and grow. Even if it's a complete disaster, you failed with a mistake, made, whatever, those experiences are gonna help you level up and grow. I love embracing mistakes. All of that growth mindset, embracing mistakes help you, um, help, embracing mistakes really help you grow and develop as an artist. And I really encourage you just to take those risks and experiment. Don't worry about if it's gonna work out or not. Even if it doesn't work out, who cares? It's all good. It's all good. So do it. Get it done and see what happens.
happens because I bet you it's going to inform the following work that you create. Oh yeah. All right, my friend, that's it for this episode. Make sure you watch the next video, which is five sketchbook prompts that will fire up your creativity. You can grab that card above or check out the link below in the description and it'll also be linked to at the very end of this episode. I'm so happy you stayed with me to the end. Make sure you like this video. Let me then know again in the comments below how you have boosted your creativity as an artist or maybe you're gonna try one of these things. I would love to, love to, love to hear about it in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe so that way you can get me, help me get to 1,000 subs because at 1,000 subs, I'm gonna be doing a super awesome next cupcake challenge Woo! because you want to see me do some really crazy cupcakes i know i will make a cupcake i'm gonna make a super super awesome cupcake artwork but only if you help me get to thousand subscribers so at 1000 subscribers i'm gonna be painting a man eating <laughs> vicious cupcake in acrylic and then at 10,000 subscribers i'm gonna be creating an artwork of a cupcake out of this world Yes, so if you want to see, and don't worry, I will be doing something for 100,000 too, but that one's going to be a ceramic sculpture. So if you want me to see me do a ceramic sculpture of a cupcake, because you get a cupcake for a sub. Sub for a cupcake, subscribe for a cupcake. Um, I will literally make cupcakes. <laughs> Artworks, obviously, it's an art channel, my friend. <laughs> you don't want to eat my real cupcakes. <laughs> you are going to want to have a horrible experience. <laughs> I'm not good at baking, but I can make it. I'm gonna make them weird. So if you want to see it happen, subscribe to this channel. At, if I want to get to thousand subs, I want to get to ten thousand, and then a hundred thousand is a sculpture. I'm gonna make a picture of a sculpture of a crazy, cute, creepy cupcake. Ah! Subscribe! Woo! Let's get inspired. I'll see you in five sketchbook prompts that will boost your creativity.